The building of St Peter's commences in the year 1200. It is completed in 1222 when it is consecrated and the keeping of parish records start. This is under the reign of King Henry III. At this time, Burkhampstead Parish falls into the Diocese of Lincoln. This covers an area between the Humber and London. In 1837, the Diocese of Lincoln's borders are redrawn. Parishes in Hertfordshire are moved to the Diocese of Rochester. Eventually in 1877, Hertfordshire, Bedfordshire and some areas of North London are now part of the Diocese of St Albans. Over the 13th and 14th century, many additions are made, including a chapel dedicated to St Catherine of Alexandria. When the bubonic plague hits Hertfordshire, there is quite a quick succession of rectors between the years 1369 and 1386. Thomas Payne, one rector, only held the post for nine days. John de Waltham is St Peter's rector during 1379 to 1380. He became Bishop of Salisbury in 1388 and was a friend of Richard II, who appoints him Lord Privy Seal and Lord Treasurer. The King honours him with a tomb in the chapel of Edward the Confessor at Westminster Abbey after his death. An interesting piece of information is Waltham is the only person not of royal blood to be buried in the royal chapel. One of Cromwell's henchmen, Daniel Axtell, is a Burkhampstead man, born and later baptised at St Peter's Church. He returns to Burkhampstead after serving Cromwell in Ireland in 1656. He is eventually executed at Tyburn in 1660 for his role in the execution of King Charles I. During the Civil War in the 17th century, the parliamentarian Sir Thomas Fairfax uses St Peter's to hold captured royalist soldiers. The church is full of many wounded men and ventilation is needed. The church wardens start to remove the windows. At this time, it's thought a lot of the medieval glass is lost.
In 2022, the church celebrated its 800th anniversary. A lot of community events are held. Fates, concerts and even hikes. Quote, The celebration reminds us of the importance of cherishing our heritage. It connects us with our forebears, enriches our present and inspires us for the future. When I came across St Peter's the other day, of course I didn't have my camera with me, but it was too good an opportunity not to go inside and film and photograph. I'm hoping to return with my camera so I can get some much better quality images. I'm also hoping to visit Rectory Lane Cemetery. I have been before and taken photographs, but I've never filmed. And as always, within a cemetery, I try to be very respectful and discreet if I'm likely to film. After all, there are people there tending graves of loved ones. But this place has been closed now for public burials for some time. But there is some very interesting characters there with some intriguing stories. So I hope I can bring you something more about them. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.